moron! <laughs> hey, moron! Duh! <laughs> look at me! I'm the Wawa Waterboard, duh! Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm not going to waste your time this morning. Let's just get into aut autopsying the body. Jerry Jones, who two weeks ago made a lot of headlines for 105.3 The Fan on Sean and RJ's talking, of course, uh, being asked about the Cowboys and some of the problems with them and proceeded to basically say, hey, you know, I'll get somebody else to do this. So he is on this morning, and so I'm going to go ahead and get to it right now. Jerry Jones on 105.3 The Fan. The Jerry Jones Show every Tuesday at this time here on Sean, RJ, and Bobby. Brought to you by your North Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. First opportunity for you to hear from the owner and general manager after the Cowboys game in San Francisco. Good morning, Jerry. How are you? Good morning, guys. What were your thoughts on the game? Well, I thought that um, we knew we were going out there to play a, a really, a really good team. And... Uh, uh, we uh, basically, I wish we could have uh, eliminated the third quarter. Yeah. And um, uh, you can't do that. And uh, But still, uh, there were parts of that game that I really liked what we were doing under the circumstances. And uh, most of it in the uh, first half, I really liked the way that we uh, came back near the end of the ball game. Uh, we gave our chance as a good, uh, good play to Turpin there that uh, – uh, if we could have made that play, that uh, makes a big difference. But uh, mm -hmm. that's what you try to do in the NFL is get in a spot where with uh, three minutes left to go and you, uh, timeout situation the way we had it, uh, you've got a chance to uh, win the game against a good team uh, on the road. Jerry, what did you guys uh, evaluate as the breakdowns in that third quarter? And I think on the season, it's 61-19. to 19. You guys have been outscored in the third. What, what broke down the other night, and, and what do you think could be an overall problem coming out of the half? You're 61-19 to 19 in the third quarter. Is that what you broke down? Yes, sir. In the third quarter? Yes. In the third uh, quarter. Well, uh, I, like, uh, uh, I think it's pretty easy to go. The facts are that uh, our communication – in our offensive line, we can improve on. Uh, I like our players in the offensive line, but we can improve on our communication. That's critical. That's uh, in there. And um, uh, that really uh, played havoc with us there. Defensively, uh, and this really has to do with uh, my kind of point that I want to make this morning, is that uh, uh, I really do see that uh, uh, we've got the players and we should have uh, the players coming uh, hopefully we'll get uh, one or two of them back here against Atlanta but I have a lot of faith in these players and I have a lot of faith in this coaching staff and so uh, uh, the big thing is that's what we've got and that's reality and so uh, uh, these players uh, have a chance to uh, uh, get better uh, their errors are up not down and I'm talking in general here. Yep. Arrows are up, it's only and this coaching staff right. is, uh, I know firsthand, I spend, uh, I spend a lot of time around them. Uh, the coaching staff's got their eye on the things that we need to improve on. We need to improve on communication across the board, and we can. That comes better as the season goes along. We'll get better with uh, communication. And uh, frankly, uh, 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 like all teams at this time, uh, we'll have some players coming back that uh, uh, play critical roles for us. Uh, we ought to get better. And uh, we're uh, seven games into this thing, 17-game season. Uh, let's get this thing turned around and uh, have a storybook uh, uh, ending to a rough start. Oh Jerry Jones joined us here 105 through the fan. What did you think of the pick play on the touchdown? Well, I just uh, uh, really... Uh, was so happy that uh, we had gotten picked and was, uh, frankly, dropped my teeth when the uh, call went against us. 
and um, you know, I just I just think that uh, uh, they had a clear view of it, and uh, they gave it to the offense. Jerry, what is it about San Fran that it, it seems like you, going in, even going into the game, that just you, you can never seem to get over the hump with San Francisco? What is it about them that's just oh, so I different? I personally, and we don't need to go way back, but uh, uh, one of the second times or one of the few times I've ever cried, literally cried, was uh, the championship game that we had there at Candlestick Park in San Francisco. And uh, we lost that game, and I thought we had a great team, and uh, 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 we lost it when uh, Switzer was our coach, and our Dion was a 49er, and, and um, we uh, uh, came back there, and I thought we had a chance to win it after a disastrous start. So I can go that far back with you on what San Francisco uh, means to, has meant to us. Uh, we've had some great days in San Francisco. I'll go back pretty far to have uh, those great days, but... Uh, they're a, they're a great franchise. They're formidable. Uh, we've got a great history with them. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, they've been to the they now they've been to more playoff, more uh, championship games than we have. But uh, I, I think we're both uh, need to see a Super Bowl in the uh, participation area. <laughs> uh, Jerry, you know, Dak seems to be a little hesitant to, to run with the ball this year, and the numbers show that he's had kind of a decline in terms of the number of rushing attempts he has each game. Mm-hmm. Is, is it a symptom of Dak's just not able to run like he used to, or, or is he choosing not to? Uh, I think it's both. Um, you really don't want to see him uh, uh, with uh, you don't want to see him uh, really take off with that ball. These guys uh, uh, these uh, quarterbacks that run, uh, uh, you, you know they're going to get injured, and uh, that happens. He's going to get injured. And that happens damn to the youngest, to happens to the best. It's is. happened to Dak. And so uh, to the end that uh, as uh, we uh, rely on uh, uh, him to uh, uh, stay healthy, uh, that's an important part of it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's up there in red letters in the practice facility, don't run, but uh, – I would say that we want him to be smart about it, and he is being smart about it. However, uh, he, he will, uh, when uh, he sees the opportunity, uh, pull it down and uh, run with it, as we know. And uh, uh, with the, the situation the other night, uh, you could say, well, when does uh, making yards count any more than that? It's easy to see. It's easy to compare. And I, that's cricket. That's fair. Uh, when the opposing quarterback you've got is uh, really uh, complimenting what they're doing with their offense, with his running. Uh, but uh, I'm satisfied with Dak in terms of uh, his ability to run is uh, uh, is there. There's no question about that as far as him physically. He can, he can run, and uh, uh, if we look back on it, you'll see times this year. But uh, we want uh, Dak in the future to uh, – uh, but do uh, the kind of job with uh, his arm and uh, get the ball out to the uh, get the ball out to the outside. You see us trying to do that a lot uh, and uh, uh, make up for uh, anything we might want to do risky. But I don't want to see him take those kinds of uh, hits. Jerry, you know, you gave out a lot of big cash in long term contracts to your core guys this off season. Do you keep a constant sort of week-by-week evaluation on whether you're getting good return on your investment or do you prefer to consider those sort of things at the end of the season when you get a complete picture? Well, neither. Neither one of them. Uh, I basically was well aware of our commitment to Lamb uh, and uh, well aware of our commitment uh, to Dak. Uh, They were really the principal reason you saw that all-in thing so much. Uh, I wanted to make that commitment with Dak, and uh, uh, so uh, to answer your question, uh, I don't look at it. Uh, matter of fact, I'm not so sure I look at anything as uh, uh, as succinctly as that game or or that situation uh, as giving you well uh, the kind of return. I've always looked at uh, the dollars we spend uh, in football. And on the uh, roster, I've always looked at them as scholarships. And uh, you give uh, one player five scholarships, 
if it were college vernacular, you give another player one scholarship. Uh, the more guys you can have out there with uh, uh, the uh, one scholarship, uh, the, the better off you are because of attrition. Our game uh, ca- is built in that you're going to lose and you've got to have uh, people behind them to play. And uh, you can, uh, when you give a lot of scholarships to any one player, uh, then uh, in terms of your cap, in terms of the dollars, uh, then that's about much less you've got to give to another player. But we're seeing right now, in some degree, uh, the system uh, at its best as far as the impact it can have. And uh, it's your depth. You've got to bring that depth forward. And uh, when you've uh, used a lot of your scholarship money on uh, several players, then uh, that depth's got to be young. Not, not necessarily not talented, but young. Young means more mistakes, always. Young means less ability to communicate out there until they get it down. So uh, that's the way I look at it. Do you ever get buyer's remorse? No. No. Not at all. Uh, You know, uh, yesterday yesterday is as dead as Napoleon. (laughs) Can't get yesterday back anymore. You can go get Napoleon. It's today right now and going forward always going forward can't do one thing about uh, uh, that San Francisco game today now the things that impacted the San Francisco game if you have a chance to get better there which you can uh, then that's what you should be looking at the other day when we had a dust up here on our program uh, a part of my uh, my response had to do with I'm spending, if you recall, I'm spending uh, looking at today. I'm looking ahead at that day. That was looking ahead at, uh, if you will, San Francisco week. And uh, that's where your attention's got to be spent. Jerry, as owner and GM, you've obviously made sure to put a team of people around you that you trust with various areas of expertise to make sure, hey, we're fielding the best team possible. Are there times when you say, Hey, I've got this decision before me. I feel one way, but the guys in the bunker kind of feel another way. I'm going to trust them. I'm going to go that direction despite seeing it differently. Yes. Yes. There are. Uh, that's uh, why I have them if you're not going to do that. <laughs> and uh, so uh, uh, I happen to know that their decisions don't have to be right. And uh, when they've made a decision, but... Uh, the reason I know that is how many I've made that aren't right. And so uh, uh, that's, you know, we discussed this before right here, uh, that uh, you're 50-50 on decisions uh, when you're clicking. It's what you do with the bad decisions after you make them, uh, how you work out of those, and how you let your good ones run long and get rid of your bad ones or make them work when they shouldn't be working. That's been my experience. So, Jerry, you have said consistently as owner and GM, the buck has to stop with you because of those titles. But when you decide to trust that consensus over maybe how you felt about something and the consensus ends up being wrong, why shouldn't those negative outcomes potentially be the responsibility of the people who advised it? Well, they should. They absolutely should. And the buck does stop. And uh, Mike is here. And I'm glad he's here, frankly. Mike McCarthy. But uh, the uh, Mike's here at my uh, volition, and uh, that's what you deal with when you make decision. You guys do it every day when you get to your decision, and uh, you can deci- You can make decisions in the spot I'm in. Uh, uh, you can make decisions by acquiesce to the decision. You can make them uh, of. Uh, uh, of your own volition, where you say, we're going this way. I know you guys see it that way. We're going this way. Uh, I've done it all my life. Jerry Jones here on Sean and RJ every Tuesday, brought to you by your North Texas Ford dealers. By the way, how is the uh, how's the family after the accident, and what is a rising barrier? What the hell is that? Well, uh, as you enter these uh, high-profile high areas, and your stadiums are high profile. As you enter those nowadays, if a car goes in within a certain distance to the stadium, it's highly protected. And uh, uh, in this particular case, they've got lifts that can, frankly, if the 
uh, uh, trigger is flipped uh, can stop a car in its tracks. And this is the case, and comes up under the car. In this particular case, the car was totaled, totally uh, busted, all the frame, uh, everything. It's tremendous force, like if a, a small explosion had gone off under there. Tremendous. And those were the things that created the injuries. And um, uh, I think my daughter's uh, little uh, uh, wasn't feeling as good as she hoped she'd feel uh, yesterday and today. Uh, my son, is, uh, who was concussed, is uh, 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 feeling better. That's good to hear. Uh, Jerry, I was very impressed with uh, Micah and Trayvon Diggs yesterday. They were giving explanations and why there's probably an overreaction to three and four, and they were just really upbeat and positive. When When you guys are struggling... How often do you check in on the emotion of the locker room versus, you know, just X's and O's and on the field assignments? And are you doing that right now? Are you like, hey, how are the guys when you're in your meetings? How much do you judge and check in on the emotional part versus on the field? So much of that is uh, uh, so much of that is spontaneous. Uh, So much of that is uh, you can't fake that stuff. It's real. Uh, These guys have a uh, a lot on the line, even the ones that weren't in the game that uh, are part of this team and maybe going to be uh, on the field the next week. Uh, they're very involved in the aspect of uh, their position as a part of a team. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody has their own way of uh, uh, dealing with it. Uh, some people are vocal, some people aren't. Uh, you have your own, you can show frustration. Uh, uh, manifests itself in a lot of ways. For me, uh, uh, it doesn't, uh, in, in a tight time, uh, to see emotion. Uh, but more importantly, that couple with doing something about it, uh, that is a big deal. And people show that emotion differently, but boy, this is, a, uh, this is an emotional game. And uh, it shows me when I see uh, that kind of frustration. Uh, I don't look at it negatively. I look at it as uh, uh, they're into it. And believe you me, uh, these players today uniquely are so involved in social media uh, that uh, they hear everything that's whispered because social media does that. And so uh, they're very, very sensitive. Uh, You can shut a lot of this stuff out when you want to shut it out. Now, I don't believe there's anybody living that wants to be dealing with adversity. You'd rather it be smooth sailing all the time. That's not this game. That's not this game with the media. You guys, uh, uh, you do a great job. You're probing. uh, You're into it. Uh, Those probes uh, into it. You ask questions that uh, uh, these uh, guys uh, are fair game, and they should be. Uh, their fair game. It's not like meeting up with somebody on the street. I'm listening to all this, and I your feel, questions yeah, uh, feel, uh, feel, uh, can run bad. deep. That's what I they do. Like They're out anything. there to do what it is that uh, uh, they about. may be unhappy with themselves, and it's being pointed out by uh, uh, media, which uh, you represent the fans. That's the way it goes. Jerry, you brought up social media there, and Trayvon Diggs uh, got into it with a media member after the game. He went into the locker room, checked social media, saw a tweet that was posted, came out with a reaction. When you see one of your players do that, listening to the outside noise, is that an indication to you that the focus, their focus might be elsewhere? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, they're focused on, they're disappointed that they didn't make a play or they're uh, they are more aware than than uh, anybody about what they might not have done, uh, where they busted an assignment, could have made a play. So uh, it doesn't surprise me at all. I uh, I have absolutely no compunction in dealing with the emotion. Now um, we all realize that uh, uh, we need to, uh, uh, if you will, uh, uh, have a bite your lip. Uh, where you need to, and um, um, to that end, well, uh, you want to uh, uh, not uh, overdo it. Uh, maybe we, I don't even need to remind you guys, I heard you build up to the show just a minute ago, and uh, uh, you were on with uh, uh, Tarika, uh, and uh, you were uh, uh, kind of giggling about, the, the, again, the dust-up that we had, and so 
bottom line is, uh, guys, this is a this is an emotional game, and it doesn't uh, alarm me in any way to see the manifestation of emotion. Jerry, I'll try to end this with a laugh. I'll, I'll say this then duck. But uh, Diggs, uh, at the end of the confrontation, used a line that I was wondering if you had ever heard of before. Are you familiar at all with these nuts? Well, you know, uh, there's a uh, in that context. No, I'd have to hear it said in context. Okay, okay. I'll send you the audio. I'm not going to say it to you. And I'm not going to rephrase it to you. You know. I want to know uh, what it looks like. I'm sitting here with a half smirk. <laughs> All right. All right. Jerry, we appreciate it. Best of luck this weekend. Let's go get a W. So, Sean and RJ asked Jerry Jones about these nuts. Yeah. So, there you have it, good people. Um, that's Jerry Jones in a nutshell, you know, trying to spin that everything's okay, that the Titanic is not sinking. And uh, we all know that this is just uh, just a bad situation. We've got all kinds of issues and things. So I'm going to end this video right here. I've got a problem with this thing. Uh, uh, ingesting, it's taking forever. Um, so I don't want to make this too long because it'll take hours to finally get up in here until I figure out what I've done wrong with my set here. As always, I appreciate you guys. Peace.